Let's talk about Pareto's principle or the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule is a technique created by an Italian economist, Pareto, and it's this idea that 20% of actions are responsible for 80% of outcomes, okay? So let's think about that. 20% of the work you do is actually responsible for 80% of the outcomes. And that means 80% of the work you're doing is only producing 20% of the results. The goal of Pareto's principle is to help us prioritize our tasks, to weight what is actually producing results higher so that we give it more time, more energy, so that we can expand our results, and to also recognize those things that are sucking the life out of us, sucking the energy out of us, and aren't actually producing the results. The 80-20 rule is powerful. And when we're talking about doing less but better, it is the 80-20 rule that we want to lean into. Now, the only way to actually establish and find what your 80 is and what your 20 is, is to track. We have to know where our time is going. We have to know how our clients are coming to us. We have to know what is actually bringing in the income. You might be doing 10 different marketing strategies and you're not actually tracking, so you don't know that of those 10, Eight of them are producing almost nothing, and two of them are producing all of your best clients. Add to that that those eight might even be the more time-consuming tasks. This is why 80-20, oh, I can't, I can't tell you how much I love this principle and how often I think about what is my 80-20 right now and make sure that I am tracking, that I am looking, that I am paying attention so that I can identify what's actually producing the results for me, whether we're talking about income streams, we're talking about client retention, we're talking about our home, we're talking about being able to make the things happen. Paying attention to where our time is going and what's actually making the difference, oh, it's so, so powerful. So why it works, it is amazing for prioritization, identifying what's working and what isn't, freeing up wasted time, and being able to actually let go of what isn't working. If you want Pareto principle to fail, don't track. I mean, it's really that simple. If you don't know how things are happening, where they're coming from, why it's happening the way it is, then you are just blindly guessing. But when we actually look to track, to pay attention and to know what's bringing what, oh, 80-20 rule or Pareto's principle, it can change the game for your income, for your time management, for just the way that you are operating. You just operate at a higher level when you start focusing in on the 20% that is giving you all the magic and you become okay letting go of the 80% that as a strong generalization is more of just a time suck. (laughs) All right, that's the Pareto principle. Let's keep going.